Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Hype Down, and today we are going to be going over how to defeat a Shadow Priest in a duel. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with another introduction, okay? I'm pretty sure you all by now know how much I appreciate your love and support. So let's get right into this. Like most Shadow Priests, they're going to start off by going special guys and trying to sprint away from you. So I usually drop a Death Indicator just to pop him out of that. I then outbreak him into two Icy Touches, and then I'm going to try to hit him with two Blood Boils. I follow up with two Death Grips. I normally don't do that, so don't death grip right away, guys, okay? But I do asphyxiate right away. So, but I fixated him right there, and as I got feared, I popped desecrated ground, trucking death coils at him. I pretended I was going to pursue him, but I ran back to desecrated ground just in case he tried to hit me with another CC. I see that I have my proc drinks, so I popped all of my things to get all of my damage rolling on him as I hit him with death coils as I approach him. Once I get next to him, I immediately start trying to hit him with necrotic strikes. Now necrotic strikes are going to make his cast uh, cast slower, and he's going to not be able to receive any heals. Um, I noticed that he silenced me, and usually when this happens, they're going to try to burst you down. But he was in no position to follow up with his burst, so he dispersed, which was great for me. As soon as he gets out of it, um, I'm going to AMS and just lunch born heal his burst that he's going to try to use on me to kill me, which is just going to help me get runic power to heal all the way back to full. Now pretty much all I'm doing is chain of ice in him to get more winning power for some more death coils. And from there, I just got my asphyxiate back. So he has to sit this one. I applied Soul Reaper, the Garg, the Dots, my pet are still busting at him. I hit him with some blood boils and I'm just trucking death coils at him. Um, I have enough taps to uh, do a you know instant blood tap necrotic. Um, didn't need to use it. <laughs> The press, I'm, you know, I talk shit every now and then, but uh, that's nothing against him. But yeah, uh, that's how that one pretty much went. So you're pretty much going to notice that these fights are not too much different from fighting a warlock. A warlock just have a lot much more CC to keep us away, a lot much more cutting abilities with teleport and gate. And again, just to make myself better as a DK, I'm fighting all of these Shadow Priests and Unholy Presence, and yes, these are all different players. Alright, so let's move on to the next footage. Alright now, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be playing another slow motion video, and I just want to take the time right now before this starts and say the reason why I'm using these Icy Touches is to take off that fortitude and possibly take off that speed burst or anything else he tries to put up on himself while we're about to fight. So getting right into the duel. I death in the K in case he tries to go invisible, which he doesn't. Cool. So right away, I asphyxiate him to get closer to him. Put on outbreak, icy touch, he fears me. Great. Desecrate ground, icy touch. I notice I popped up, like, oh shit, let me run back. <laughs> I pulled him back towards my desecrated ground. Wait for a couple seconds and I pulled him back to it again. So now I'm pretty much going to hit him with two scorch strikes because I'm trying to get my trinket to pry. And right now it's being a slut. Boom, there you go. Now we can go ham. I see my trinket. I pop all of my things, which is my burst macro. Now, I'm, my goal right now is just to hit him with necrotic stacks. I also do dark semi-lacum on him just to steal something, because I know he's going to try to do a defensive. I stole his shield, so now I'm absorbing his damage. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm just hitting him with necrotic strikes just so I can slow his casting speed down. And also so I can make him so he can't heal. Um... I'm just chasing him down with death coils. I also hit him with a few more icy touches and blood boys to get more death runes on the way. I noticed that I'm about to die, but I'm not going to panic. I still have my spawn fortitude, so I'm just trying to see what he's going to do. Also, thanks to my add-on, I see that I have my asphyxiate back. Once he fears me, I pop out of that with lynchborn and hurry up and hit AMS to negate that damage and use that for some runic power. I'm lynchborn healing. Um, I asphyxiate him to get close. I'm healing myself some more. I apply Soul Reaper, Gargoyle still popping on him, and right now I'm just, I reapplied my dots with Plague Strike in case I got feared again, there goes another Lynchborn heal, um, yeah, as you see it was kind of overkill, I mean I still had some more Death Runes to dump out, I still have like a Blood Boil and some more Unholy Runes to use there, um, great, great, great dominance, I mean I still had my Icebound Fortitude to use. Again, um, the reason why you're seeing me getting chunked like this is because, yes, I am in Unholy Presence. Again, I'm doing it just to sharpen myself up. Will I lose because of that? Absolutely. Um, in Unholy Presence, we have 30,000 less armor. 
Um, I think we go from like 56% reduced damage to like 46, so that's huge. And again, like 100k less uh, health, so if you want to increase your odds of winning, go to Blood Press. <laughs> Alright guys, this is the same exact duel. Uh, asphyxiate, Outbreak, Icy Touch, Desecrate Ground, Icy Touch ran back, Death the Grip, Death Grip, Blood Boil. I'm waiting for my thing, Score Strike, Score Strike, Pet Stun. Uh, death coil. I pet stun to keep the fight next to my desecrated ground. Dark sim, uh, and I use this shield. Now, right here, I'm dumping all four of those death runes into necrotic strikes. I'm chasing him down with death coils. I hit him with ice chest blood boy to have one more. I mean, two more runes on the way. My good old buddy shot kind of reminds me that I'm going to die. So right now, I'm going on the defensive. Lynchborn AMS. Lynchborn healing. I, chain of Ice, Asphyxiate, I'm sorry I forgot to mention that I did Chain of Ice him for more winning power. Um, and, I mean, it's just so much overkill right there, dude. I mean, so Reaper was on him, I had two more Necrotics to throw at him. My Garbo was still activated, my Dots were on him, my Pets on him. Like, the pressure just cannot get any better than that. Alright now, YouTube. Uh, this will be the last slow motion clip uh, because, like I said, these duels aren't really too much different from fighting warlocks. Um, the only thing you have to watch out for with Shadow Priests is, is their silence. Uh, this guy, is, uh, his name is Atachi, and he's actually a 2400 rated Shadow Priest. Okay, guys, so getting into the action, he goes invisible. I predict where he's going with the Destiny Killer. I pop him up, but it wasn't fast enough. He feared me. I pop out of that with a Desecrated Ground. Asphyxiate. Now I'm just going to try and debuff him with icy touches. He silenced me to stop me. So I'm like, okay, let me just try to get close to you to see what you're going to do now while I wait for my things. He void tendril me. I'm not going to waste anything to, you, you know, pop out of those. So I'm going to pop all of my things since I've seen my trinket crop. I grip him into a icy touch and two blood boils. Okay. And I de death grip him again. I'm scorch striking him. And right now, since I see myself getting low and he's really trying to finish me fast, I pop Ice Bounce 42 AMS, and I'm using all of that damage he's dealing to me to heal myself. As you can see that I'm healing myself constantly, but no matter how many times I heal myself, I stay with over half running power, and that's because he's just trying to spike me the fuck down. I'm still healing myself. Now I chose to truck one at him. I'm fully loaded for blood taps. So right now I'm just pretty much I'm pretty much waiting for my Q to get next to him and stack him up again. As you see, I have three necrotic strikes waiting, two blood taps waiting, chain of ice. You know, I'm I'm just I'm waiting for him. Okay, my gargoyle is still busting at him. I still have a frost fever on him. So when I get out of this, whatever, it's a duel. I know this is kind of cheap, but fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna pop my shit to get next to him, chain of ice him for some winning power, asphyxiate. Necrotic stack him, you know, my goal sometimes mostly is to apply solely right away, which I just did. He's still next to me even though he's going to tend on me. Death coiling him with all that runic power that I have. And, you know, Soul Reaper is just going to do his job. I get him back. He signs me again. The match was over. That was kind of weird. Like, I beat him and then I didn't beat him. So I just put another Soul Reaper on him to seal the deal. Again, my DKs. Uh, if you're just wondering, like, damn, that guy hit you fucking hard in the beginning, you know? If you guys want the cushion, sit in Blood Presence, you will have a lot more time to figure out what you want to do. Sorry about the victory barks. Let me turn them down real quick for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, again, guys, uh, I'm taking a lot of damage because I'm trying to sharpen myself up by playing these guys in Unholy Presence. If I was in Blood Presence in the beginning, he would not have chunked me so hard. Okay? So, again... Practicing blood. If you guys want to work on your quick reactions, switch to Unholy Presence, have fun, spike them down, and really, really be on point with how to Lynchborn heal, AMS, Icebound 42, etc. Alright, my fellow DKs, uh, I'm going to be playing this clip again. Uh, no, it is not real time, and no, I am not going to be commentating this again. I just want to discuss something with you. I want to discuss a mistake that he made in the beginning. No offense to you, Itachi, if you're watching this. Um, in the beginning, he hit me with an early silence, and he should not have. And the reason why is because right now, I mean, I, yeah, I got my doubts on you, and right now I'm just trying to icy touch and blow for you. Those are not going to kill you. And he, like, the silence is wasted. I mean, 
silenced me for what? You know, like I, I'm not, I wasn't doing anything. So it was, that silence was just wasted. Uh, that's why I was able to do this right here. If he, if he would have silenced me right there, he, it would have been a good game. But since he had no silence, I was able to take all of that burst damage and convert it into runic power to help myself when spawn healing. While I'm unspawn healing, he cannot fear me because I'm immune to fears. So his only thing to do against me while I'm healing is silence me, you know? And he just couldn't because he did it in the beginning. Um, I'm pretty sure that's why he wanted a rematch, and the rematch is going to be coming up next. It was a longer duel. He did come at it at a different approach. I'm not sure if he did silence me in the beginning. We'll see. Um, if he were to do that to a different class, it most likely would have worked. But with a DK, it would not work because um, we are a melee class, but we are a dominant range class as well. Um, we don't really have to do anything. Our damage is going to happen with or without us. You know, my job is just to stack necrotics and death coil for damage, you know. So, again, sorry for the victory barks. <laughs> But uh, yeah, uh, early silence is definitely not the way to defeat me because, again, in the beginning of the fight, I'm not going to be doing anything special. I'm just trying to convert my regular runes into death runes. All right, now you two, we are going to be getting into the rematch. Uh, in this duel, yes, he did silence me early again. I guess that's just a part of his swag. Uh, he might not be, he's probably not used to dueling DKs, uh, but I'm pretty sure over time he'll figure out that he has to save that. Uh, and as for me, I, in this fight, I AMS a little too early and started lynch and healing too early. I could have waited maybe for about maybe two more seconds before I did it. I mean, but, you know, things happen. And I'm an unholy person, so I, I'm kind of afraid sometimes. <laughs> Alright, so commentating. Okay, he's on. It's pretty much the same way. You know, I, I used to touch him one time. He silenced me. He void tangled me. And I'm just finishing off my uh, death room. Okay, so we see how you see how I just AMS and just start lynch point healing. Like, I didn't have to do that, you know. But mistakes do happen. But I didn't let that defeat me. I'm still going to try to win this thing. So I get back on him, and I'm just trying to dump the products at him. Again, my damage does not stop for anybody. It's still cracking. Like, look at that. My dots are hitting for like 16k. This is why I love my crit build, because you see, like, my gargoyle is hitting, it's critting a lot, you know? Icy touch for 13k. I mean, you guys might think, oh, why is this that DK doing icy touches and blood blows? You know, that's bad. It's not bad, you know what I'm saying? Especially with my build, every move is effective. Every crit is effective, you know? I mean, if you pay attention to my mic scrolling text, you'll see over time, like, my frost fever may tick for a lot. My eyes, everything hits for, even my necrotic stacks sometimes crits, you know? Um, this is why I love this build. And uh, see, they're over. everything's everything's critting. Just, that's, what's, that's what's hurting him. You know, 10k frost fever, 16k dot, like, you know what I'm saying? My death coil, 51k, 16k, like, I love this fucking build. You know, people ask, uh, you know, what build do you think's better? I, there is no right or wrong build, but I like this build because if you have dots on everybody and they're all fucking cracking for like 20k or something, you know, like that's extreme pressure, whether you know it or not. And just so you guys know, I'm not bullshitting. He's indeed a 2400 player. Um, this is why it takes me a little long to get videos up because I don't want to just be making duels with like beating you know people like that that are not good he's a, a really good shadow priest and if you see him try him out he's no fucking pushover <laughs> all right guys now with these last clips um i'm pretty sure you guys got a pretty good idea of what i'm doing here so i'm not going to really commentate i'm just going to keep talking with you um now fighting your ordinary shadow priest outside of door tower if you follow these steps Yo, I mean, playing the game? Yeah, I'm in the Skype but I don't answer because I'm in the zone where, like, he sees my face and my eyeballs are, like, crazy. I'm just, like, down. zoned out in the screen. Just pay attention. Like, look over there to the right. Look at what's critting. You know, look at look at how everything is critting. You know, like, my crits overlap my mic tech scroll. It's constant crits. Look at that. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so damn good, man. I don't... Okay, I, you know, we all suck our own dicks every once in a while, so... <laughs> But you see what I'm talking about, guys? Everything crit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, you know, like I said, people out here, they know that, you know, I, I goes hard. And, and again, he knows I'm doing an unholy presence just to fucking, you know, sharpen up myself. But again, guys, like, 
this is why I love my build because he was kiting me, but he was still melting because everything is fucking critting on his ass. You know what I'm saying? Uh, in are even in arenas, man. There should be times where you're, oh, don't line me, don't line me. You know? Okay, so how am I fucking supposed to do damage? So what is my haste for then? You know? So this is why I love my build. If they want me to line, okay, my dots are on everybody. I'm gonna line, and I'm still gonna be hitting them for 26k or something. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? I'm back, bro. All right. So now moving into this next footage, um, I'm just talking to you guys now. I'm not really going to pause and do all that other bullshit. Um, asphyxiate, icy touch, I'll break. He switched the asphyxiate, which is perfect. He silences me early, which is also perfect. Score strike, score strike, cut stun. You know, I desecrate ground. Look, he's already half health. You know what I'm saying? And nothing even started yet. Look at these crits. I'm not. I'm done talking. Look at the crits. He he guard. He he already uh he shackled my pet. He was so focused on doing that. But again, like I'm the bonus here. Like I still hit hard. Look at those necrotic strikes. You know those fucking hit you for like 15k because they're critting. And then my gargoyle gets out the shackle and fucking 40k crits them. You know like I love my build. This is a mastery crit build, guys. Okay. Um, no, there's no right or wrong way. If you want to go haste, go haste. It's perfect to, I mean, if you're good at staying when you're targeted and if your healer is not one of those pillar huggers, you know, you can really utilize that haste. But if you have a healer that likes to play the pillar, then haste really isn't the way to go. I mean, because overall, haste is to help you to get runes back faster. And if you're constantly having a pillar hug because your healer wants you to play defensive, I mean, it defeats the whole purpose of the haste. I mean, even though haste does help you in other aspects. Pause. Uh, just to give you guys a better idea of what I'm trying to say about the haste build, um, if your healer needs you to line of sight or needs you to go to defensive, you're going to have all six runes up, okay? So that right there automatically eliminates one of the aspects of why you want haste. Haste gives you fast runes. But if you're not going to be on the target, meaning you're not going to have uptime, meaning you're going to have downtime, you're going to be all the way in the back of the field with six runes for no reason. Versus if you would, you could, if you're going to LOS and pillar hug, uh, slowly but surely you will have those six runes again. And but the difference is, uh, you're going to be doing a lot more damage because you're going to be doing a lot more critting. So I don't know. It's like a little balance scale there. I mean, like I said. Haste versus crit, whatever, I don't want to get into that debate, but it's debatable, you know. You choose your path, you choose how you enjoy playing. Have fun with this build, guys. If you guys want to try my build, try it out. It's not, like I said, it's not any better than any other build. This is just what I enjoy to rock Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, my apologies for, you know, the lack of time in these videos. But understand that I'm just trying to get some good footage that you can actually learn from. This was indeed footage to learn from. I did not put that much text in this video. And like again, it's because I said that this video is not too much different from fighting a warlock. If you guys have questions, you know, if you guys have any uh, need for like further elaboration, like you need me to explain something more, don't hesitate to hit me up. As you see, I am always trying to respond to you guys. You all will be answered. Um, again, thank you all for enjoying these videos. Thank you all for liking my videos, sharing my videos, and spreading the love. I really appreciate it. And again, you guys keep feeding me all of this love, and I will keep feeding you guys the information so you guys can become better. All right, guys, this is your boy Hype Down, and I'll see you next time. Peace.